Hey y'all, it's Jay Nation Mogul here. I am here this beautiful morning. Uh at home. Of course I got to work today. Happy month with the King birthday day today. Um Today I'm actually gonna talk to you guys. This is day three of my video challenge for 30 days. So today I'm actually gonna make a video about having a morning routine. Uh why? Mostly because we all need one. Like everybody needs a routine that they do first when they get out of the bed. And in my opinion, it, it, it would be best to be something that would be beneficial for you to get your day started so that way you can actually be ready for the day. Um, I remember before um, I started studying Law of Attraction and just waking up with this notion of not being ready for the day and already dreading what was getting ready to happen. And now realizing, of course, until later on, that that type of mentality was actually making me really go through the day miserable. So um, I changed that, and once I understood and needed to change that, things have turned out to be a lot differently. A lot of times we don't want to get up and get ready for work or have to get up and take care of the grown-up shit because now we're adults and we have to do these types of things. But it's all about how you look at it, all about how you set yourself off for that day so it means a lot to have a morning routine and as make it as positive as possible and take it make it a time where you take time out for you in that morning um me personally what i like to do is as soon as i get out of bed or hell before i even get out of bed i've been trying to work on not looking at my phone as soon as i get up um mostly because you know as soon as that happens you're on the phone for a while and you are distracted by whatever is going on in that. So, of course, that has a lot to do with us really having to take away, take ourselves out of everything that's happening in the world and just focus on our inner peace as of that at that time. So, what I've been doing is I'll try to um, really just focus. Like, I'll, I'll have my meditation music going on already all night. And if I wake up with it, then I use that to continue to do a, a morning meditation and from there, I will my, my mind will be at ease, you know, and I'll be able to be relaxed. So by the time I work on, I, for me, I I make it a habit to work on three things: my mind, body, and soul, and that can be in, in different aspects. So I always make sure meditation is always a part of my day, always, and I I pretty much do it throughout the day. So I also make sure that as soon as I get up, I stretch. Especially you guys know me working at UPS and. And even as a trainer, I still am found in the, the trucks. So I'm still loading a good amount of the time. And that alone can put strain on your body, especially if you're lifting up 50 plus types pounds just every day. So I make sure I stretch. And if not just for my job, I have to do it in general because we our bodies, they go through a lot on a daily. So you want to make sure that you take care of it and prepare it for the next thing. And this way you avoid injuries, especially if you're somebody that works out like myself then you want to make sure that you don't overwork your muscles. So that way, you, when you are working out and you give them that rest period, that they go ahead and still grow. And also make sure that you continue to stretch. Okay, and that'll help them as well, as always. So I stretch, make sure I do my stretches. Uh, a lot of times I do them on my uh, pull-up bar that I actually got like a week ago. So I, I use that, and then I get straight to my workouts that I'm doing for that particular day. Now, I don't work out every single day, again, because I don't want to overexert myself. But the days that I do work out, I make sure that I do my HIIT workouts. You know, that's the high intensity, high intensity workouts. So I work up a little sweat. Then after about, shoot, 10 minutes of that, max, I'll be straight. All right, because there's like no, it's like a really short break time in between each workout. So, um, once I do that, if I feel like doing Tai Chi that day, I'll do some Tai Chi. Uh, that'll uh, help ease my mind as well. Um, I'm actually also trying to get back into reading my books. Uh, as you guys know, I get a lot of books all the time. I'm always reading something. So, uh, lately, I've been doing a lot of more visual stuff, which is basically reading, watching a lot more YouTube videos. Um, and that's just motivational. They're still along the same line. But I know that I also needs to make sure that I keep reading and keep doing that. So I do that. Um, and, of course, going to incorporate more of actually reading. And then from there, it goes into me just reflecting. Uh, I usually do like an audio recording 
of myself, how my where my head is at at the time, where I want to be at in the future, and what I got planned for the day. So it always is for me. I take it day by day. You know, I try not to do too much, but I also make sure that I think about the future. So when it comes to the morning routines, and that's for anybody, you want to make sure that it starts off your day. And once I do that, I'm pretty much ready for the day. Whatever could be going on, whatever could be happening. And even on my way to work, to walk into work, I am in a great mind frame that even if I don't really want to be there, because at the end of the day, I already don't, but I am still grateful for it. I'm still happy that I have what I do have, and I know that this is not the end of the line, and this is what's going to take me to where I want to be. And with that, making sure that my mind is always where it needs to be, that I continue to say my affirmations, that I always do my affirmations, make sure that they are put out into the world so that way the universe can get them and use them for whatever growth that I'm actually heading towards. So, um, as far as I can think of, that's what I do for my morning routine um, as of right now. And then I get into eating. Eating, then work. So, as you know, I, I work, I do my graphics, I do my marketing, I do my videos, and then I go straight into uh, actually working at the 9 to 5. Um, but it's all an illusion. It's all temporary. So... At the end of the day, I know what I'm striving for. I know what my goal is. So, whatever your goal is, make sure that you prepare yourself for that every single morning. Make sure you get up with, with a mindset and a mind frame that whatever your day is going to entail, that you are going to be prepared for it and you're going to be positive about it and make it work for you. At the end of the day, that no matter what's happening right now, it's, it's all an illusion. It's all something that you can actually have control over. So remember that, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day, and I'm ready for this week. It's going to be a great week, man, and uh, I'll see y'all next time, man. Y'all have a good one.